Before trying anti-aging serums or wrinkle creams, check if you're getting enough collagen first. Collagen is a protein that plays a crucial role in maintaining the health and elasticity of our skin. Without it, we may notice visible signs of aging, like fine lines and wrinkles. While collagen production naturally declines as we age, certain collagen supplements can help bring back a youthful glow like you wouldn't believe. This is why I highly recommend taking collagen. Collagen is specially formulated to enhance skin elasticity and hydration. It's made with the top five most powerful types of collagen that are essential for skin health, elasticity, and firmness. Folks, with only 10 grams of bioactive collagen peptides per serving, collagen is designed to make it easy to boost your collagen levels to support healthier skin. Try it today and receive 53% off, free shipping, free VIP live health and fitness coaching for life. What a great deal. And also a free new e-report titled The 14 Foods for Amazing Skin and a 60-day money-back guarantee. So folks, if you don't see it working, they'll give you your money back. Plus, you'll also help feed a hungry child, families and communities in need uh, of healthier lives with your order through BioTrust Partnership with NoKidsHungry.org. What a, what a great company. Check it out today. Go to HealthWithLA.com, HealthWithLA.com, or please click the link right below here in our description box. Hey folks, I'm your intrepid host, L.A. Marzulli. Welcome to our show on YouTube. And we've got a very special guest today, Pastor Mike Spaulding. Uh, I'm going to be at the Go Therefore conference towards the end. In fact, it is at the end of July, and we hope to see you there. But Pastor Mike, thanks so much for coming on the record. Really appreciate it. What can the folks expect when they come to the conference? Well, they can expect a, a bull rush of information and nonstop. Are you kidding me? Are you serious? As Paul Begley likes to say all the time, uh, that's what they can expect because you're going to be there. Uh, Vicki Vicky Joy Anderson is going to be there with us. Our mutual friend, Pastor Casper Sharon and Derek Gilbert are going to be there. Dr. Michael Lake is going to be there. Uh, Dr. Gregory Reed's going to be there. David Hevner, Sherry Tenpenny. I could go on and on and on. Kenny C., uh, a good buddy of mine here in Lima, a pastor, Nathan Branham, he is, uh, he and I've become uh, dear friends and he is tracking with you. He's tracking with the Gilberts. He's tracking with Dr. Lake. And so it's nice to find somebody in my neck of the woods that understands the language you speak and the language that, that these other folks, our dear friends speak. So, so that's just a few. And, and I don't want to forget anybody. Uh, Randy Conway, of course, is going to be with us. Uh, the American poet, I call him the prophetic poet. And I just want to give a, a quick announcement. I am bringing uh, my, uh, my two battle buddies, Gil Zimmerman, who's our uh, assistant director and also cinematographer, uh, on all of our shoots and our new audio guy, Jim Peterson, they will be at the conference and we will, we will be actually interviewing people um, and asking this one question, what do you think about disclosure? Because disclosure is coming. We'll be set up and thanks Pastor Mike for allowing us to do that. So folks, um, you know, if you want to come on camera, that would be great uh, to do that. But, um, and if you've got a UFO experience, again, we'll have the cameras there and stuff and we, we'd like to get your testimony. But you know, you know, Pastor Mike, things are things are heating up on all fronts. I mean, I, I wake up every morning and I look at the news. I'm a news hound. But we look at the lawlessness. We look at um, you know the shootings in the street. We look at what's going on over in France. Complete utter lawlessness. I mean, it's on a global level. Look at what's happening in Ukraine and Russia. The fact that they're they're saber rattling um, with tactical nukes. I mean, have they lost, have we lost our collective minds here? And then you add the entire UFO phenomena, which Congress is talking about whistleblowers. We had the incident that happened a couple of weeks back in Las Vegas, where, you know, eight to 10 foot aliens in the guy's backyard. And I've seen, I've seen the footage of, you know, on YouTube where he's talking about the guy's name is Angel. And I think he's a straight shooter. I don't think he's uh, elaborating or creating a hoax in any way, shape, or form. I'm a student of body language, and by golly, this is what it looks like. As I was laying in my bed, I was awakened this morning at around 2 a.m., and it was a 2.0 earthquake right off of Malibu, right where I live, basically. Mm. Yeah, so I mean, wow. what we see is wars and rumors of wars, famines, pestilence, earthquakes in diverse places, and troublesome times. So I mean, and then you look, you, you, you add lawlessness into that. You look at what else is happening 
just globally on the planet, just the unrest. And then you add the, in my, the ace in the hole, in my opinion, the burgeoning UFO phenomenon. And it's just like, oh my gosh, what are we looking at here? Your thoughts. Yeah. Yeah, well, so I'm I'm teaching through the Book of Revelation on on Sunday mornings at our fellowship here, um, L.A. and and some time ago, and I, I I actually put a book out on it, the Four Horses of Revelation six, uh, a new prophetic interpretation, and um, our dear late friend Russ Dizdar mm. was the one that pointed me in this direction. He said, take a look at that red red horse and, and, and what it says in the description of the red horse. And so I did some studying there and, you know, the rest was spot on. It, it talks in there about slaying one another. And, and if you go back to the etymology, then it, that really means butchering, butchering one another. That's, that's what's going to characterize these last days, particularly under the seal judgments. But these we're seeing that now. France is on fire. On fire. Yeah. Every place. And of course, you know, American media, they they try to filter all of that out so we can't get the straight scoop. Do you know how close we came to uh, a nuclear exchange in the Ukraine? I mean, this guy that was leading the Wagner group that, well. I can't pronounce his name either, right? I can't. So, yes, that's. <laughs> You recognize that, didn't you? Right. <laughs> so, so, but he and Putin are, he and Putin have been close buds for decades. He was handpicked to lead this mercenary group that goes under the, the, the innocuous name, the Wagner group. They're close buds, but somehow they thought they were going to create a coup. And, the, and, and they're talking nukes now. And was Putin exposed as being weak or not? I mean, what what was that exchange yeah, we, all about? And, in the and we don't we don't know what's really going on. I mean, we really. Exactly. I mean, the media. What was it? The big the big story like last week? The submarine. And and I get that. It's tragic, you know. But all that is is squirrel. Really, that's exactly. all it is. I mean, it's exactly it's right. Tragic event is everything else, but compared to what France burning the Ukraine and the Russia, you know, deal with with the threatening of tactical nukes. My gosh. Um, I, I know a lot of people will watch this and call us fear mongers. We're not. We're, we're mm -hmm. looking at scripture and the punch list that Jesus gives us uh, and warns us will come in the last days. And frankly, I think that's what we're looking at. Um, when is the conference and how do people sign up for this? Yeah, so the conference is July 28th and 29th. July 28th, 29th, Friday. All day Saturday, we'll kick it off about 1.30 or so on Friday, and we'll go until, well, we'll go until you get done, L.A., on Friday night. So that's because <laughs> you're the last speaker on Friday night. Thank you for that. So it's a, it absolutely did that on purpose. It's it's a, it's a an open-ended uh, slot. So you go however the long, uh, however long the Lord leads you. Then we're going to kick it off Saturday morning with Tom Dunn, and we're going to end it with David Hebner. And in between there, Derek and Sharon, Mike Lake, Greg Reed, Sherry Tenpenny, Randy Conway, and of course, um, you, you're going to get about five, ten minute bio break in between there. So, so you're just going to get this information. Um, you better come prepared to be to be educated. Don't don't think that you know everything that's going on because I'm guaranteeing you this is the seventh year we've done this. La, everybody always walks away shaking their heads, saying, "I had no idea." The stuff that the speakers bring, their wheelhouses, their their expertise, um, it, it's just going to blow people away. So they can go to the conference website, go there for conference, go there for conference.com, uh, buy tickets, click that button, buy tickets. Uh, accommodation information is on there. It's the best Western, uh, Northwest Dayton and Inglewood, about 20 minutes from the venue. Um, and uh, this year, this year, the... Uh, the, the host church, Pastor Neil and, and uh, Harvest Revival Center, uh, they, are, they are welcoming us. They are, they are doing some, some food service kind of things for youth group uh, fundraising. So folks won't even have to leave the premises if they want to stay there and enjoy their meals with, with other believers. So it's going to be a jam-packed uh, two days, I can tell you that. And we've already got, what, up, up around 150 people signing up for it. I believe yep. we're going to get close to 300. I'd yeah. like to see that number, folks. If you're in the area, you definitely want to check this out. Give us the address of the website so they can register one more time, please. Yeah, so it's so thank you for that. And by the way, live stream is available. If you can't make it, um, you can also 
register for the live stream. Same place, go thereforeconference.com. Go thereforeconference.com. I hope to see you. And um, before I let you go, what is the theme of the conference? So the theme is finish well. And isn't that, isn't that just go right along with the disclosures coming, friends? What are you going to do with that information when they just start laying things out for us? It's like, I knew it. I told you that's what was going on. What are you going to do with all of that? Because here's the thing. It should make you press into Jesus even harder. Amen. It should, it should encourage you. Now I've got stuff that, that we've been talking about. Everybody's been poo-pooing it for all these years. Now I've got to say, now, see right here, God's getting ready to do a thing because he is unveiling all of this stuff that you and many others LA have been pointing to and say, Hey, this is coming. You better get ready. What are you going to do with that information? Finish well, friends. Thank you so much, Pastor Mike, for coming on. Really appreciate it, folks. Check it out. I'm, I'm going to be there. Can't wait uh, to talk about some of the uh, new discoveries we've made. And that'll be strictly for that conference. I haven't revealed it um, publicly, and I won't, but I will reveal it. At, I think you'll find it very interesting. It's uh, Let me put it this way. We, we went out to the debris field in Roswell. I'll just leave it at that. So um, check us out. Hope to see you there. It's going to be a great conference. Lots of great speakers. Pastor Mike, thanks so much for coming on the record. Really appreciate it. UFO Disclosure, go to lamarzuli.net. You can also stream them. And um, it's, it's there's so much information in this. We are in post-production on 678 and probably nine. So we're, we're all over this. The Lord gave us marching orders to get them all out by the end of the year. And, and by golly, that's what we're trying to do. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And we'll see you at the Go Therefore Conference, July 28th and 29th in Lima, Ohio.